Most people are not living their dreams because of fear, ladies and gentlemen. Fear, limited vision, and lack of self-esteem is what keep most people doing things they don't want to do. The same reason that people stay in relationships where they're abused or they're unhappy or it's unfulfilling, they can't see themselves beyond that relationship. They can't see themselves enjoying life without that person. They think that this is all that they can do. The same reason that people get stuck at a certain level in life, they can't see things being better for them. And they think that this is it and this is all they deserve. This is all they've ever seen. It's been passed on to them. And they think that this is it for them. Oh no, uh, looking what Dr. Blanton, Smiley Blanton, who is a colleague of Dr. Norman Vincent Peale, what he said about fear, he said, fear is the most subtle and destructive of all human diseases. Ladies and gentlemen, fear kills dreams. Fear kills hope. Fear, put people in the hospital. Fear can age you. Fear, ladies and gentlemen, can hold you back from doing something that you know within yourself that you're capable of doing, but it will paralyze you. And it seems like you're in a hypnotic spell. And I ask you a question, what is the benefit? What's the benefit of allowing fear to hold you back? What's the benefit of giving up on yourself, of not stepping out on life and taking life on? What is the benefit for you? What's the plus in that? It's one of the things I had to ask myself. So I didn't want to make any mistakes. I wanted everybody to like me. I wanted to be perfect the first time I did something. It's not going to happen. You're going to make some mistakes. You're going to hurt some folks' feelings. You're going to create some enemies whenever you decide that you want to begin to take life on. You've got to ask yourself, how long am I going to allow this to hold me back? I like what Zig Ziglar says. He said, fear is false evidence appearing real.